Hello and welcome to another Traffic Inspector tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at how you can use Traffic Inspector to create effective network access policies for your users. Traffic rules are central to how Traffic Inspector restricts web access or otherwise blocks access to the Internet. A traffic rule may serve as a network filter or an application filter. Network filters block or allow traffic based on packet properties such as IP address, protocol ID, or port number. Network filters are applicable to routed traffic, as well as traffic that is processed by Traffic Inspector Web Proxy or SOX Proxy. Unlike network filters, application filters are applicable to HTTP traffic processed by the TI Web Proxy and we usually use them when we need to do web or URL filtering. One important thing we have to know about traffic rules is that they require you to specify network destinations that will be allowed or blocked. Depending on the type of the rule that you create, network destinations are specified in the form of IP addresses or uniform resource locators. The task of specifying IP addresses and URLs is so common that a special feature was developed to simplify it. Here I'm talking about IP lists and URL lists, which are reusable objects that are linked to traffic rules. Just as the name suggests, IP list object stores a list of IP addresses, IP address ranges, and DNS names. Whenever DNS name is specified in the IP list, it is automatically resolved by the program. URL lists contain a list of universe resource locators specified as regular expressions or plain strings. Finally, once you create a traffic rule that suits your needs, you have to define which users and groups this rule applies to. For example, you can assign a rule to a particular user, the entire group, or all users. Now let's look at an actual example of how traffic rules work. Say I want to control access to social media like Facebook and Twitter. The first thing that I do after logging into the Traffic Inspector Administration Console is go into the Toolbox Console Tree node. I'm going to create a URL list. I will need it later when creating an application filter. So I start the wizard by selecting the appropriate context menu item. I'll call my URL list social media. Please note that we can specify a URL as a plain string or as a regular expression which is very effective in certain usage scenarios. For now, we'll just use a plain string. So now I've got my new social media URL list. Okay, that's great, but how do I control access to those sites? Well, that's where traffic rules come in. Click on the Traffic Management branch and you will see the Traffic Rules node. Once again, start the wizard by selecting the appropriate context menu item. Just for consistency, I'll call my Traffic Rule Social Media. This is the same name that I used for my URL list. I'm going to use an application filter to be able to do URL filtering. Also, I'm going to block access to the resource, so I choose the appropriate action for the rule. Now, remember the URL list that I have created earlier? I'm going to use it right now by selecting it on the URL matching tab.
Then I select the schedule for when this rule is going to be evaluated. We'll have a flexible Internet access policy. So I'm going to let my users check the Internet social sites during lunch and before and after work. To do that, I just click the mouse and drag it across the time period that I want to select. I will do Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. through 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Finally, I complete the wizard and create a new traffic rule. One last thing that remains to be done is choosing which user and group to apply this rule to. I want this rule to be applied to one of my groups. I called it Restricted Users Group. That's why I open the group properties and go to the Traffic Rules tab. Actually, there are two tabs related to traffic rules. They are called Group Pre-User Rules and group post-user rules. The only real difference between these two categories is the evaluation order. Group three user rules are evaluated before rules that are assigned to a group user individually. And by analogy, group post-user rules are evaluated after individual rules. So I select group three user rules tab Select the rule that I have previously created and click Add. And that's it. I now see my new traffic rule that applies to a specific group, uses the social media URL list, the schedule is custom, and the result is restricted access to Facebook and Twitter. So let's test it. Now, when I try to access Facebook.com, I get a message back saying that Traffic Inspector has blocked access to this site. So that's how easy it is to control web access using traffic rules. As always, if you need any assistance or have any questions, visit our website or contact our technical support team at support at Thanks for watching.